if you haven't gotten a passport yet, it would be a good idea because you're going to need it if you plan to go on vacation or leave the country. But I thought you, I would just give you a little update on the appearance and some important characteristics of the new U.S. airport. This is the old passport. This is a passport that if you would have gotten a passport up till up until maybe 2007 or the beginning of 2008, it would look like this. But this is not the passport you will receive anymore. The new passport looks like this. And there is one important difference. Do you see it there? It's right here. This passport is chipped. Look at the symbol very closely. That symbol is saying that this passport is chipped. It has an electronic device in it so that it can be read and it is chipped and they don't try to hide it at all. When you receive the new passport, they tell you. Be very careful, they explain about, a little bit about it. They give you, um, they tell you not to damage it. If it gets damaged, your passport can still work, they say. But let's take a look inside the passport and what it says. It says here on page five, alteration or mutilation of passport. This passport must not be altered or mutilated in any way. Alteration could make the passport invalid and if willful, meaning willful mutilation, may subject you to prosecution. Title 18 U.S. Code Section 1543. Well, I looked up that code and what it says is that if you mutilate your passport and they call you a terrorist for doing it you can go to jail for no longer than 25 years so you better take care of it once you get it and um, then in the back of the passport on the last two pages it says it right there this document contains sensitive electronics. For best performance, do not bend, perforate, or expose to extreme temperatures. There you go. Let's see if you can see it right there. So, now you know, when you get your new passport, it's chipped. But I wouldn't worry about this being the mark of the beast because I don't need this to buy or to sell. The mark of the beast, clearly it says that you will have it in your right hand or your forehead and you will need it to buy and sell. And I can buy and sell without one of these. So don't fear it, but just know that it's going to have a new appearance. It's not going to look like the old ones like this. It will have a chip. Let me see if I can hold it this way. In the bottom. The two holes that are here are because this is my old passport and they put hole they punch holes in it so that you can't use it anymore, like to invalidate it. It's just a way of making sure you're only using one passport at a time. But there you can see the two differences in the passports. Everything's becoming electronic and chipped.